on series. And it's a session with a difference. My name is Adriana Archer, and I am the head of the department, security administration and management, and emergency management. I have the honor and the privilege to have joining me this afternoon, Dr. Julie Samaru, a senior adjunct lecturer in emergency management, and two students from our college, from Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies. We have Ms. Odinga Williams representing emergency management. And we have Ms. Kimberly Wong, who represents security administration and management. And both of them will be sharing their experiences with us of their journey at Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies. I want to hand over to Dr. Samaru who are now asked to share with respect to emergency management with us. Good afternoon. And first of all, I'd like to start off by wishing everyone a happy new year. It is indeed a pleasure being here. It's the first time that we are doing our series for the year. And the last series, when we looked at emergency management, I focused on telling you some of the things that you should do, how you should prepare, have your go kit, make sure you have a family plan, know your emergency numbers. Did you do any of it? I hope so. But guess what? We are now in the dry season and it's going to be another season where you have to use some of the same things I told you before. But it is just that in the dry season, we are known for having a lot of bushfires. And we have to remember that in some instances, it's against the law to just start a fire. And more so, you can cause damage to a lot of property, a lot of homes, People can get injured and it can be in some instances quite fatal. Remember as well, children love to experiment with matches, lighting candles. We want to be aware of that as well. So that for this season, the focus will not be so much on flooding. It will be on what happens in the dry season. Because what happens in the dry season will roll over into the wet season because when you burn and you flatten the land and you destroy all the vegetation in the rainy season you are going to have nothing to prepare to prevent the land from flooding so this time around from now until june it's going to be the dry season make sure you have a fire path around your house clean your property but when you clean your property, please do not put all the garbage in front of the house and start a bonfire. You will definitely look for trouble. So please try and avoid doing that. So my words for you in terms of for this time on, fire prevention. This will be the hazard that we are looking at. Preventing damage and destruction from bushfires this year. Let's see how we could focus on that. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the afternoon with us. Thank you very much for those words of wisdom. I would now like to ask Ms. Otinga Williams. Ms. Williams will have or is in the process of completing a diploma in emergency management at the college. And I just want to ask her to share a little bit with us with respect to her experiences thus far. Ms. Williams. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure being here. I would like to thank Priyani for inviting me to share my experiences with the college thus far. I would also like to extend a warm Happy New Year to everyone. 
and we look forward to a wonderful experience this year. And hopefully those of you who are viewing will join us in this journey. Ms. Archer, my experience thus far. Firstly, maybe I should say, I searched through the country and other institutions to see if they had the offerings of emergency management. And unfortunately, Cipriani was the only one and I did it last. And, and that was the unfortunate thing because I would have started a semester earlier if I had only thought about it. So I was very delighted when I saw that Cipriani had everything I needed, everything I wanted, everything I thought would be important for me to go forward in the future into the career that I have chosen. And I have to say, I have started and I am impressed by what I have been receiving thus far. I am very happy with the lecturers. I am very happy with the course content that they have provided. I'm also surprised by some of the course content because I did not think that emergency management went so in depth into other areas. So thus far, I have been having a tremendous experience at Cipriani Labor College, and I am looking forward to even going further within this institution. Thank you very much, Odinga. We're looking forward to have you. you know, Thank uh, you. you know, but we can rather is to expand our emergency management department not only with the diploma, but hopefully with the associate degree and even the bachelor's program. All right, so we're looking forward to having you around for a little while longer. All right. But thanks very that much. Would be awesome. Yes, but thanks that very would much. Would be awesome. Yes, yes. It would and be. It would that's, be. Yes. yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Kimberly, do you want to share some stuff with us this afternoon? Not a problem. Good afternoon, everyone who is here with us today. Firstly, I would like to thank the Security Administration and Emergency Management Department at Cipriani for having me here today. My name is Kimberly Wong, and I've been enrolled in Cipriani College from since 2015 to present. During my years, past years, I would have completed my certificate level in the same faculty, moved on to the associate degree. And I'm proud to say that I'm in my final year of my bachelor's degree. There are so many things that I can share with you all here today about the college. I must admit that Cipriani isn't just done institution offering programs where you'll just go and receive a degree or receive, receive a certificate, sorry. It's more than that. It's a learning institute where no one is left behind. And when I mean no one, I mean no one. The institution works with their students. So I must say hats off firstly to administration staff, our lecturers, not only in the security department, but all our lecturers, librarians, the security officers who provide us with making, ensuring that our protection are there. And also the maintenance staff who ensures that we have a hygienic environment function. My experience with Cipriani, I must say, is one of the best. I'm not going to color code it, but I have enjoyed my time here. But before I go deep into it, I'd just like to share an, a little history about my experience. Um, back in 2015, when I would have thought about applying for security administration and management, yes, I work in the field, but I was still unsure as to if I would want to pursue studies in this field. So with two minds of wanting to go and work, 
um, when and when I entered into admin, when I got accepted, and from admin there were Miss King, who is now deceased. Miss King was our quote unquote always present administrator and admin. She was there as total strangers. We she kept long conversations with me because she realized that we still wasn't sure if I really wanted to go along with the program or not. And she, her words to me were, once you get started, you, once you start, you're going to complete. And I can see your potential. And with the lecturers in your department, they're going to work hand in hand with you. Today, as Miss King would have proclaimed, here I am, proud. Sometimes I say it's because of her cheerleading that I would have reached so far so quickly. On my last time, on my last course in the, in the certificate level, she would have told me to go directly to Ms. Archer, who we have with us here today. And then sitting with Ms. Archer for advisement, but we all see that went as history, everything else remains as history. I'm still here wishing that Cipriani was offering a master's degree where I could have shared two more years or maybe a little less because I am the student that, or if they give me a landmark as three years, I want to go to. So with Ms. Archer as my head of department, she walked me through it step by step. The lecturers of all my classes Every class that I've sit in, the lecturers makes the environment fun and learning comfortable. The material prepared, no complaints. You work with, we work together. You work with them, they work with us. And here I am today to say that just as any other institution, we may have ups and downs, but in Cipriani, nothing lasts forever. You may get some hiccups in registration. You may get one or two mishaps where classes clashing and stuff. But the end one, and Miss Asha, as I just always say to everyone, once we these students put our foot forward, the lecturers are always there. And as Dr. Julie will say, she, she sings the song in her classes every day, all her classes. So we are with the students are just here. We are just products of Cipriani and not only the same products, we are pro products because with me entering into security, I can now say that everything had topped from before. I were aware, unaware of some stuff that was, I just simply used to overlook it, but being enrolled in security had not only enhanced my job attitude, it goes with me. Security goes with me. It goes a long way. It's not about security guard by a boot. It's not about a watchman watching a building. It's more than that. And I am proud to say that I have chosen this path. And as a female, when persons will ask me, what you study? And I'll be like, I'm studying security. And they'll be like, security? So they, and immediately I cut them off. I'll be like, you need to enter the program and then you'll know what security is like. It may sound harsh at times, but you know, it's a program that some people just overlook because they think it's a man with a battle, but it is more than that. Because when you look around your homes, security day, your camera, security, your dogs, cameras, you're protecting your family, security, so I want to take this time to ask who may have second, doubt second, thoughts, jump on board. We at Cipriani, but I'm speaking on the students' behalf. We have a good thing going. And the lecturers, each lecturer know that. We form a body. We work together. Don't think, don't think negative. Don't, don't keep the two doubts because this is our way to start, it's the stepping stone of your academic career. And the lecturers are here to work with you. The students are here and we work in hand in hand. Once you get started, we're going to finish. And 
my colleague Odinga. Yes, you'll be entering into, I could see it coming that the ledger is going to work to ensure that you go one step higher and then another step higher. And we'll be, we both will reach the weight for the master's degree. <laughs> that is it. Thanks, Ms. Ach. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much, Kimberly. Wow, you would have said so much, Ruth. Um, so many glowing things with respect to Supriani, our teachers, our lecturers, or you know, we remember dear Mrs. King and who everybody, you know, miss misses so much, and you know, we still love Miss King. And, you know, um, I'm glad to know that you are enjoying your time here with us. At the, at the college. But one, one question, Kimberly, tell me what is your favorite subject? Your favorite subject at the college, or maybe two or three? <laughs> okay, Miss, this is an on the spot question. I don't have one specific subject, reason being, I will start these courses not knowing what I'm entering, and every semester I will end up with one favorite subject. For example, last semester, somehow crisis intervention had me wrap the wrong its finger, followed by, there are so many, I'm going to call at least four. Crisis intervention taught me so much more than security. It opened up my mind, especially to deal with this pandemic, that to know how to face what is expected and what is unexpected. For forensic investigation, yes, we go deeper. We want to know what the officer is looking for. We want to know how we can solve crime, how we can predict it. And yes, so those two would have been my favorite subject last semester. I must say bioterrorism would have been the one with the semester before. That subject literally opened my eyes as to what we be seeing on television, CNN News, and Mr. Achibal, he did a tremendous job that actually the last day of class, I, I can remember, uh, and the last day of class was our exam actually. And after our exam was finished, and about five to six of the students remained online because we build a bond and it was not just about bioterrorism. It was like, you know, a family bond now and we talk about everything, things I didn't even know. And one other would have been human resource management that's with Ms. Dan Hector, who is now enjoying retiree. That subject would have been absolutely one. And I chose those because it's out of Sam, but it had me and my colleagues and them could tell that I will tell them electives we're doing, HR, HR have us, HR have us. And so it's not only the SAM, it's more than that. And that's what I try to tell people and encourage people now, security is not just security, it's in a field of everything. It gets a touch and a taste of everything. So that's the four of my favorites. Okay, you're right. Thanks very much, um, Kimberly. Odinga, well, tell me something. Tell me about your favorite courses. I know you enjoyed uh, some with Mr. Thank Kimberly, you very much. Uh, with, with the summer room. So, so tell us a little bit yes, of, uh, I... of the courses that you would have, uh, would have done. Well, at the beginning of the semester, uh, the four courses was terrorism, introduction to terrorism, report writing, um, hazard mitigation, and also of organizational behavior. At first, I started to think, well, you know, I like terrorism. And then I started to think that I like report writing. And as the term progressed, I have to be honest with you, the lecturers helped me to understand that everything is linked. You cannot do a good report writing without understanding hazard mitigation. So at the end of the course, I had no favorite. I because all of them linked. Cipriani did an excellent job in putting courses together. That what you use in hazard mitigation, you have to use it in terrorism, and you had to use the skills you were developing in report writing 
in all of those areas. Otherwise, you're not going to get your grades. You're not going to be able to apply the techniques you learned, and you're not going to be able to do the, have the objective. So what those did is that when you go out to the workplace and you have an incident, like Mr. Dr. Samuel will say, you have to be able to put your report concisely. So if you go into a hazard mitigation situation, that technique you would have learned would have been able to reinforce and ensure that you're able to produce an excellent work. So all these subjects together for me, I don't have a favorite yeah. because all of them work together. Without each of them, I could not see the value of the individual subject. But if you're talking about lecturers, obviously Dr. Samuel has to be my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a one, it was a wonderful, it was a wonderfully combined core of subjects. And uh, I have to admit that the lecturers constantly try to reinforce that. It did not come together until the middle of the term when you realize the report you have to write, everything is linked. So for me, all the subjects were excellent. I did not have a favorite. I think they all work together. I think they all give the tools to understand emergency management and hazard mitigation. And I think the tools of being able to write technical reports was everything was there so i I'm, I'm i don't have i love them all i really enjoyed my program odinga, if, if i may if i may ask a question here odinga how how have you been able to use any of what you have learned either in your personal life or as a community member how have you benefited from doing this particular or these courses Thank you, Dr. Samuel. The benefit I have gained is that we have to look at life as one big opportunity. Everything in life, you can put mitigating things in place. Things will happen. So I am at present, I'm a housewife, and I decided to go back out there and study. And this showed me that even in my home, there are things I need to put in place to ensure that my family is safe. And it extended from my home. It extends into my community. So when I'm having conversations with my neighbors, I am able to tell them, you know, maybe you should look at the way you did this. Maybe you should look at how you are lighting that fire. Have you ever thought about this? Even one or two of the community members I've spoken to, I have told them about, about the possibility of research starts back up in the community. They probably should look at it, one or two of the young people. So it has been beneficial from that point. Even in my home, I look at fires differently. I look at the possibilities of outfitting my home now with fire extinguishers, having to be prepared for emergency, understanding what the different level of emergencies in the countries mean. So everything is not an emergency. Everything is not a disaster. Everything is not something this oh this happened and you know it no longer is about the government only. But it's also what I can do, what I can part, I can now understand how systems work, right? And in that way, I'm able now to transfer that information, not only to my family, but to members of my community. And I have been sharing information with members of my community, members of my extended church group, different information and letting them know. I even send some of them the flyers. They can see, listen, this is an opportunity also for you to probably take this type of teaching into your churches, into your communities, into your homes, so that you're better paid in the event that we have a natural disaster or any phenomenon at all. Yes, well, um, um, Dr. Samuel actually took the question out of my mouth, but it's... <laughs> Well, that's no problem. But I want to ask you, um, you know that our college, we are fully online. We are fully online. Um, how has that online experience been for you? I actually enjoyed the online sessions because I live in Sangri Gandhi, so it would have taken me an extra hour and a half to get to class each time I have class. What made it easy 
was that the school of itself, I think, did a very good job and documented a lot of the process and send it out prior to the actual start date of the class. Um, there were one or two challenge I did experience, but the good thing about that is that the school, I thought, was very receptive and very open to working with me to get those things ironed out and listen to a couple of the other students, I would say that was also their response. Now, the online learning platform, you would have the days when you are having internet issues, when you have the days when you feel like you're disconnected. But a lot of the lecturers, what I saw them do was take the opportunity to do icebreakers, and they would engage the class members in the icebreakers so that we work together as a team. Um, the class would even go so far, even though we are not Get together, but to share ideas, they would promote that. They would spend time engaging the students and letting us work together. So even though we were not connected physically, I can tell you it's a connection that has lasted because even though class finished first term, everyone in the group is still connecting, still speaking, still talking, still looking forward to what's next, even asking suggestions. So I think the lecturers did a phenomenal job in that even though we were not able to have that physical interaction, uh, they did a fantastic job. They were always on time, which is very important. They would be there when you log in. So you don't have to hear like other institutions, unfortunately, that the lectures are not showing up. Cipriani's lectures were always there. And I think that a tremendous element because it was dedication and made me as an individual want to come to that standard where I am always present also. So the even though it was a remote learning, I did not experience any difficulty. And that had to do, as I said, one with the lecturers, they were very good. Um, the administration, any issues I had, they were very prompt and they were open to addressing any issues I may have had. And I think I just had a tremendous system. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Udinga. Um, Kimberly, thank tell me you. about your online experience. Uh, how, how has that been going for you so far? How has it been working for you so far? So I am one of the students who would have had to, this pandemic came up unexpected. So we would have started classes, normal face to face, and then suddenly we had to transition from online, from face to face to online. It wasn't a smooth sailing because we, the students, most of us were new to this platform. So we had some hiccups as well with sorting out, well, the college itself, where we were offline for some time, with the college setting up stuff for us. The first semester, um, it was a bit, well, this, the continuing semester, it was a bit rough for me because it was something totally new. We wouldn't, we didn't get any teachings about it before. I had not much experience with it, but with our lecturers, working through and sending us videos upon videos and information, we were able to master the program. So now I can say we are masters online. It has become much easier. I'm a student from the San Grande area. Difficulties used to be for me reaching home, studying to after work in Port of Spain, drive up to San Grande, sometimes reaching home after nine in the night to get ready to come to work. Um, always a student who proves to have to go to school Monday to Friday. So I always have a full week. But with this online, it has become easier. And I must say, even though I'm not face-to-face -face with my colleagues and my lecturers, I do not feel separated because or even online, we have this great bond going that on our last class is nothing like you just say hi, good day, spend the class and you go. Face to face, we used to have our groupings. COVID took that away from us. But online, we making it happen. The only thing is with the um, online, and I'm sure some of us would have, well, my colleagues, 
we would have spoken about it. It have where we have gained in some instances, we have some have been snatched. So two semesters we have been battling. These will be fighting to get third semester in because we used to look forward, even though we have to go to school three days a week for this short semester, as we call it. COVID have to, took that away from us. Um, we hoping to get it back because already we done start to study what we're doing in short semester. So apart from that, apart from COVID taking that away from us, and you know, this, some people will say, um, with this new type, our new era, and the new lifestyle and the change, I always beg to differ because they'd be like, people can't communicate. And again, they wouldn't know how to communicate. I am the one to beg to differ because we are online. This is my fourth semester online and there are lecturers who I haven't met face to face, but I have felt it and we are connected because the environment they provide, the comfort, you know, some of us are saying the comfort at your home, you could just rule off and it gets in the act and in school already. You put on your cameras, no cameras off because everybody interacting. They put on your cameras, we interact, we have a good thing. And one specific lecture I like this thing is Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown will be students, the first 15 minutes of the class or the first half an hour of the class, all cameras on. I want to see who I'm speaking to. And as the 15 minutes pass or the 20 minutes pass, Mr. Brown will be like, Miss Wong, your camera is off. Because we have this thing going, so we are there. You don't want to feel like you're talking to yourself or you're communicating on our class. And so I think I would say the icebreakers, that is it for us. And in the security department, we cannot say that. But I could speak on my behalf and some of my colleagues because we interact each day. We cannot say that is not an is not interesting for us. Some of us as we, we attend school in our cars, home from work. So the online isn't, I don't think it's as rough, rough as it starts as I started it off with. I am now smooth sailing. And I appreciate it because of my distance. And I am also hoping that we the students get back. COVID release our third semester so we could get back with it. But other than that, online learning have been fun for me. Right. Thank you very much, Kimberly. And I hear you with the with the um, with our um, third semester as you put it. So hopefully, you know, um, things will be put back in place for, for not only but for all the other students. All right. Um, we could not have had all the students here that we would have liked to have, but we do have some testimonials from some of our students. So I would like to ask Dr. Samaro uh, if she could share some of those testimonials with us. I'm going to share a testimonial from one of the current students in the Diploma in Emergency Management. And it reads, given the current climate we are living in, time and its management is very important to our frontline worker. As an essential worker, CCLCS allowed me the flexibility to attend all my classes and still meet my other daily responsibilities. The lecturers and administrative staff can be contacted easily and their responses are quick. The Diploma in Emergency Management exposed me to various aspects of situations that I may have overlooked. The vast wealth of knowledge that can be gained from this diploma is tremendous. This course causes an individual not to just read, understand, and recite information but rather to analyze, think critically, research, create, construct, and eventually implement. Anyone who pursues and completes the Diploma in Emergency Management 
would find themselves in a dynamic field where they may be tasked with implementing mitigation measures, preparation, and much more. Their outlook will be more in-depth as many situations prior to this diploma may, they may have overlooked. The information, subject areas, and credits gained from this program, however, should be revised as the knowledge attained may warrant a higher level of certification, to which Ms. Archer had alluded earlier on that we are looking at uh, higher levels in terms of the program. And this person in particular is Alistair Charles, and he is an officer in the Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service. And I thank him very much for sharing his thoughts with us this afternoon. Over to you, Idri. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Samaru. Um, I too, I have some testimonials here that I would, uh, I would like to share with you. And this one, the first one is actually from, from a police officer. All right, and he is Mr. Mr. Kevin, Kevin Archibald. And according to him, he has been a long-standing student of Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies. His course of study is in security administration and emergency management, which is, according to him, is headed by the esteem of Ms. Adriana Archer. And Kevin goes on to tell us that We haven't been elevated, you know, to the rank of police sergeant in 2009. You know, having completed his um, first his first course of study was a diploma in security administration, and uh, he had, he obtained the rank of sergeant police sergeant in 2009, and he saw a further need to enhance his skills and training you know, to model himself to become a well-rounded individual. So he began to pursue further studies in the field of security administration and management at the associate degree level. He goes on to say that the course of study was much more intensive than the diploma. He completed the course that, according to him, that gave him knowledge in law, sociology, psychology and information technology. Also, investigation, personal security, and other areas of security. So this expanded his capacity to function as a middle manager, improved his perspective in general as an individual, and edified him altogether, making him that all-round student, you know, and that is what we look for at Cipriani College. So that at the end of the day, when you leave the college, you'll be that all around the individual. And he is also able to apply some of the theories in his everyday life. It has equipped him to embrace the challenges of everyday life. He has also gained skills that give him the competitive edge in furtherance of his upward mobility within the organization. And in 2019, he commenced study in the, at the bachelor's level, and he is now approaching his completion of that program. So, so far, the course has bolstered his communication, leadership, critical thinking, problem solving, and analytical skills. He has also received training in crisis intervention, forensic investigation, and criminal investigation, to name just a few areas. And on completion of this course of study, he hopes to achieve increased access to job opportunities, preparation for a specialized career, increased marketability and increased earning potential, economic stability and a pathway to advancement of his personal growth and his self-esteem. And in concluding, he would like to inform 
all you out there who are listening, that his journey at the college has indeed been a fulfilling one thus far, as he has been afforded an opportunity to grow and explore his skills. Additionally, the environment, be it face-to-face -face or virtual, has been always positive and healthy and conducive to fulfilling one's true or one's thorough potential. The lecturers have always been highly supportive and dedicated to their undertaking. Thank you very much, Mr. Kevin Archibald, for that very you know, informative and all inspiring you know, testimonial. Judy, do you have any more you wish to share with us? Oh yes, I, I, I have one that we will we would look at in terms of, as you would say, someone who would consider himself, as he said, he stammers. And in terms of presentations, he may have had difficulties, but I want you to hear what it is he has to say. After some 20 odd years of not reading or researching a topic of interest for an assignment intended for grades, such presented a challenge at times. However, I relish the opportunity to gain the knowledge and strive to be a better version of myself. Due to working in the service industry as an estate constable and attending evening classes, there were many long nights coupled with highs and lows of waiting and receiving course marks, with the highs overweighing the lows, which brings a deep sense of satisfaction and accomplishment. And I see Odinga smiling because she knows exactly who we are talking about. As I am one who stammers from time to time, the lecturers were very understanding, helpful, and informative during and after the classes. Also at times, my fellow classmates would cheer me on. The admin staff were very cooperative and understanding which brought a sense of ease and a peace of mind while pursuing my education. As a newbie to tertiary education, CCLCS has proven to be one to rely on for educational needs and personal growth of an individual. Now, Tavis, he was always first in class to sign on always first to sign on and while we all acknowledge that he did in fact sign, we embraced and it meant that I think the level of comfort he got from being in the class by the end of the semester he recognized that his stammering had become less because he had now become comfortable in the environment and I'm so proud to say that he got an A in the course so proud to say so Tavis Paul, see you in the next semester. And I have one more for, that I'd like to share again. It's also from a fellow um, fire officer. After spending a lot of years away from any type of studying, it was a little overwhelming re-entering the world of study. However, the staff and lecturers at Cipriani are always willing to help and answer any questions or concerns that I may have. As a first responder, continuous learning is important. I have chosen to pursue the Diploma in Emergency Management, which has helped me to understand and view things from a different perspective, analyzing situations and finding appropriate solutions by conducted hazard and risk assessment, finding appropriate mitigation and implementing. This program has improved my value as a first responder to the public and my organization. Even when I lost a very close family member to the COVID-19 virus, my lecturers were understanding and encouraged me through the difficult time. They helped me not to lose focus on my goals. I look forward to my second semester at CCLCS. 
Now, this is just in terms of you, for those of you listening out there. This is to let you know that we don't only look at just the academics and the topics that we have to teach. We look at the people. We are concerned for our students. When they are not in class, we want to know why. If it's a personal matter, we want to know how we could help. Odinga was the class rep not is, not was, is the class rep. And she can tell you that there was not a day that we were not all in communication with each other. During and after class, I could always count on her to get in touch with them or we could know they could call me after hours. So at Cipriani, I do agree with their sentiments. The lecturers, we extend ourselves and so do the students. So it's not just about the course. It's about you achieving your goal and we are there to help. Adri, it's all yours. So true, so true, Julie. Because the well-being of our students is so very important to us. You know, we can't, you know, then definitely emphasize the importance of that and our compassionate lecturers that we have. You know, they Look out for our students at all levels, right? At all levels. Not it's not only about the academia, but it's all about you know the person, the human aspect of it all. Thanks very much, Julie, for that. For those you know testimonials. I just want to um, to look at another testimonial too that I have from another student, and he's Mr. Charles Williams. And, uh, you know, Charles is saying to us, uh, you know, like most persons uh, pursuing the academia, you know, he was unsure of what area of study to embark upon. But after recalling my or his uh, fulfilling experience working in the, security, in the security field, this prompted him to research security-based programs. At this time, which was around 2017, he discovered that, that this institution, Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Study, Studies, was the only one that offered a degree in security. So he applied and was given the opportunity to be registered to pursue the bachelor's degree in security administration and management. He had his reservations as to the length of the program, but he decided to go with the flow and take the experience one semester at a time. Back then, he said he was about 32 years of old, 32 years of age, pardon, and he worked full-time and being a part-time student was new to him. He was not sure what to expect, but he hoped that this experience would allow him to gain knowledge, to develop new skills and create opportunities for him within his organization, more so to enable him to be more marketable for any future endeavors. So the courses within the Security Administration and Management Program allowed him to gain an appreciation of the numerous avenues available to him in the field of security. The courses prepared students for management level, management level jobs, whereby developing policies and procedures is of paramount importance. The program is a great source of knowledge as information is not only used, for promotional purposes, but also it can be used in your everyday activities and undertakings. The lecturers related the coursework in an understandable, relatable, and concise manner. Studying and working full-time has its challenges, but the availability, the availability of the lecturers, whether to clarify issues or just their willingness to assist students really help provide some level of normalcy and uh, peace of mind. So notwithstanding that no institution func functions uh, perfectly, but despite any shortcomings, the environment at the Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Study is one that fosters collaboration and alliances between students who work in different organizations. Holistically, the experience was a combination of love, hate, laughter, and tears. But as he approached 
he continued to approach it one semester at a time. And now he is proud to say that I am nearing the end of a very successful journey at Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies. Wow. When we hear these kind of testimonials, we as lecturers, we can feel so good. We feel so good. You know, we are the college, uh, not only the lecturers, but the, those in admissions, those, those in student affairs, throughout the college, we feel good to know that our students, uh, you know, have these, these kind words, uh, you know, to say about us. And I want to just read one more here for you. And this one, it's from uh, a student who has graduated from the college, right? And this is Mr. Adish Rakbir. And addition starts it off by saying the old adage. School days are the best days comes to mind as I reflect on my experience and tutelage at the Cipriani College of Labor and Property Studies. This saying reflects the period of learning where students are among their peers, where life experiences are learned and friendships are forged. In 2016, I enthusiastically enrolled as a mature student in an undergraduate program at the college. During my years at the college, I met various students from different institutions within the security profession. We all shared our experiences and ideas as we navigated through our program courses. Participating in numerous and tedious group projects ensured that the students made professional connections while grasping a clear understanding of assigned material. I hold great respect to all those I worked with during my time at the college. Additionally, I must acknowledge the professional staff at the Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies. As a student, the administrative staff were always helpful and our head of department, Ms. Archer, was always willing to assist with any concerns. Also, I must humbly thank all the lecturers that I interacted with during my tutelage at Cipriani as they were outstanding. And he went to, he goes on here to mention a few. So he mentions Ms. Archer for all the detailed information, Mr. Keen Charles for his guidance and well-structured classes, Mr. Junior Deming, who unfortunately is no longer with us, who made the, understand, the understanding of law easy, Dr. Siddiqua Khan for her insight into language and writing skills, Ms. Michelle Clavery, Mrs. Michelle Clavery, for expertise in communication, and the many others who would have imparted their knowledge to him. He goes on to tell us that all lecturers were all well experienced and made learning a lot easier. They were creative in their delivery of course material and lectures and lecturers at the college made a great impact in the understanding of tertiary education. Overall, my experience at the Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies was a positive one, and I carry, or he carries, many fond memories of his time there. What more could we ask for? What more could we ask for? That's true. But, you know, I want to ask um, Odinga. Odinga, you're, you're, I'm putting you on a scene. You're in an auditorium looking at students or persons who are trying to make up their mind should they go to school should they not go to school and the choice is cipriani what can you say to convince them that they're making us you know to make that choice Yes, but however, it's not a difficult spot. I will tell any, and actually I have been speaking to some young people um, in their early 20s and encouraging them to at least try the 10 weeks program. It's very informative. It's very enlightening. What it also does, it gives you the advantage and the opportunity to have insights into programs that will pique their interest, that will give them an understanding of how they can move forward and the opportunities that these programs offer. Education is not something to rush. Education is not something we should take for granted. It is an opportunity and it is a beautiful experience. 
And I think that any young person, actually any person, should take the opportunity to go forward. Cipriani has been a pleasure. I am very happy. I am very satisfied that I chose Cipriani. And I'm also happy that Chef Cipriani accepted me when I applied. And I have no regrets. I am comfortable. I am sure I'm getting the highest level of education in the fields that they are offering, the fields that I've experienced. And there's nothing that I have experienced so far that I can say can compare to the quality of the teaching. Cipriani is a fantastic option. It is probably the best option in Trinidad and Tobago. And I can say that without fear and without favor to anyone else, but I am open and happy and I am pushing actually in fact I was say this I shouldn't but I actually encouraged one of the young ladies I said listen I am willing to pay your first year 10 program at Cipriani and that's how convinced I am that once this young lady gets into Cipriani she will see all the opportunities available to her and I know it will help guide her on making tremendous um, impact in her life and Kimmy how about you what would you say to the students or to the people? I always like engaging in these chats, chat chats about school. I am a person that encourages everyone, even my family members, to give it a try. Not just a try because, as I said earlier, you'll be obtaining a certificate at the end of the program. Sip Granny offers learning for everyone. And sometimes we, as I say we, I quote, because I was once in a situation of not knowing or unsure as to where I want to go and if I want to carry on with it, but I'll encourage everyone to put their best foot forward. Come in, give it a try with a fair mind, open it with, accept it with a fair mind. I want you, want you Put your mind to it, your best foot forward, as my grandmother always say. Everything you do, put your best foot forward, whether it be your left or your right. And come on, join us, because it's not only... I, I stress on administration and lecturers, but sometimes, you know, persons would have had... Wouldn't have been, like, in, in our department, in our faculty, we have persons from all different ages. Is not a specific age, young, old, elderly. And I draw reference to these persons who I refer to as friends because we work together hand in hand. And it's not you alone in it, we will work together. And as I said, I stress on administration and the lecturers, they provide a learning experience. One that, as I think I say, education isn't to be taken easily or lightly and it's a proud moment so Cipriani opens the way for you all who are out there listening and still having second thoughts my advice to you is to grasp it apply to the college and without a doubt they will accept you the Cipriani have no let me see, no shortcomings in picking and choosing. They will accept you, and once you are accepted, attempt it, and you will feel proud at the end. And education is something in my years growing up, I'm, I'm pretty young, and education is something you grew up here, and they cannot take it away from you. And embarking on this academic career, and um, I will say there are people who will hear security. I will stress the one I constantly encourage this person. Right now, I have three students who, and Ms. Acha may know of them, that I have encouraged, and they are head and head. And we they started after me, but we work together. Doesn't matter if I'm maybe one year or one semester above or before I started in 2015, we will be all work together. So do not hesitate. Enter the college and we welcome you as our family. This the Cipriani family, we are with you. And even those who would have attempted the 10 Saturdays and they say, okay, yes, they get through. And you know, some might think 
it's always something that they don't have the time. Make the time. You make the time and Cyprian will work with you. So I always pushes my colleagues. Once I know you are, you start, you're going to finish at the bachelor's. Bachelor's we aiming at. And until we be able to fight for our masters, come forward and do it. And we're going to work together. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Kimmy and Odinga. Thank you, Odinga. Thank you, Kimberly. Thank you, Dr. Samaru. Folks, you have heard it from the mouths of the students themselves. Who we didn't hear today, we would have had the opportunity to read you some testimonials as to their experience at, at Cipriani College and Labor and Cooperative Studies. There's nothing more again I could say because the students, they have said it all. They have said it all. I'll just wrap up by saying that we offer the certificate, the diploma, the associate degree, the bachelor's program in security administration and management. And at this point in time, we are offering the diploma in emergency management. All right. I want to thank everyone for tuning in, for listening, for, for taking the time out to be with us here this afternoon. And I want to wish each and every one of you a very happy new year. And I hope to see you all enrolling at the Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. You're welcome, Odinga. Yeah, it was our pleasure. It was our pleasure. It'd be nice meeting you.